these intros are going to be the death of me because I never know how to start any of these videos, but... Hey, what is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a New Year's resolutions and like my goals for 2019, I guess. Um, I know I'm a little bit late. It's pretty much the end of January and I'm only just getting around to doing this video. But I love seeing other people's videos and what they want to accomplish for like the new year. So I thought I would film one too. And so for 2019, I have quite a few like goals, I guess, um, or things that I want to achieve. I know in previous years I've made goals and resolutions that are definitely not possible or I definitely have set the standard way, way, way too high and then I don't accomplish them and then I just feel like crap about it or like I'm... I don't feel as accomplished at the end of the year. Uh, so yeah, this year I've tried to make them so that I can achieve them or they are, I don't know how to say it, like they're achievable. Like don't set my standards too high, but like enough so that I can push myself, but they definitely are, I definitely am able to do them, hopefully. I don't know, I've explained that really bad, but... So I recently picked up a new bullet journal, and I actually started bullet journaling, I think like March or April last year, and I loved it. I'm not the most artistic or like crafty person or anything like that, but it really helped keep me organized, and I love just like looking back on like what I kind of did. <laughs> um, yeah, it just seemed to keep me really organized and somewhat on top of everything. Not 100%, but it definitely helped, and... Um, so yeah, I decided to pick up another one. This year, um, I have one that's a little bit different. Last, last year I had one like this, like a hard cover type one that, yeah, looks like this. Nothing too spectacular. Um, but this year I decided to go with something a little bit different and I actually bought this off Etsy, off a little shop. I can't actually remember what her shop's called. If I remember, I'll put a link to her Etsy shop down, uh, in the description box. But... Um, she actually hand makes all of these in Brisbane. I'm pretty sure she's an Etsy shop in Brisbane, but she actually hand makes all her like bullet journals and notebooks and stuff. And she has a really cute shop. So yeah, if you want to check it out, I'll try and find a link and I will put it in the description box. But yeah, it just looks like this and it just has cute little elephants on. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling about my bullet journal and um, get into my goals slash like resolutions for this year. Okay, so my goals slash resolutions that are probably the easiest and the ones that I definitely have been working on over the past couple of years, not just like this year, um, would have to be my confidence and like just meeting new people, like putting myself out of my comfort zone. I want to work on that a little bit more. I am quite a shy, reserved person. Like um, obviously once I get to know someone and stuff, I'm not, but I think once I first like meet people, I'm quite reserved into myself and I get quite anxious like meeting new people, but I want to start putting myself out there, meeting new people, just like enjoying, um, life and I don't want my like social anxiety or like me getting anxious, like stopping me from doing that. So that's one thing I really want to work on is my confidence and yeah, just gaining more confidence, meeting new people, just putting myself out of my comfort zone. But then in the end, I know it pays off. So, um, yeah, I definitely want to work on my confidence and yeah, putting myself out of my comfort zone kind of thing. My second resolution kind of goes hand in hand with my first resolution, and that is to be more positive. Now, this is something that I, I don't think I like struggle with, but I'm not always the most positive and things definitely aren't as bad as what they may seem in the moment. And I know there's people out there that have it a lot worse don't have a roof over their head or they don't get food every day they don't have clean water all of that and I want to work on being more positive seeing the positive side in everything and just realizing that everything happens for a reason even if it may not seem great at the time and it might be hard and it might be like I might be struggling I want to work on realizing that something positive will come from it and that it will make me a like stronger person and stuff so I want to work on being as positive as I can for the new year and yeah. Resolution number three would be to read more. Now I put this as a resolution last year and I used to read a lot more when I was younger and I absolutely loved it. Um, I think a book is just a lot more 
um, personal and descriptive than like say a movie. Um, I absolutely love reading but I just don't do it enough. Honestly, I go on my phone way too much and I really want to try and read. My goal is to aim for 10 to 12 books so that's about a book a month. Last year I think I read one and a half books which is a poor effort, a very very poor effort on my behalf. Um, I definitely want to try and read more. I have this new thing where half an hour to an hour before I go to bed I do not go on my phone whatsoever and I just read um, before I go to bed because I've also heard it helps you sleep a bit better and obviously you're not all stimulated from being on your phone. Um, that's definitely one of my worst habits I guess I could say is that I sit on my phone for a couple of hours before bed or I go on my computer and watch YouTube videos or stuff like that and then my brain doesn't switch off properly and I don't sleep the best all the time so I definitely want to read more and be off my phone before bed and all of that type of stuff so yeah definitely think that reading is very important my fourth resolution would be to travel more. Now, if you know me quite well, the only thing I ever talk about is traveling. Like, that is what I want to do with my life. I really, my end goal in life is to pretty much be an entrepreneur and get paid to travel the world, pretty much. That has always been my end goal. I've always wanted to travel. I love traveling. And yeah, this year I just want to try and travel more. I actually have some exciting travel plans coming up in the middle of the year like June July which I will talk about closer to the time but I'm super excited and yeah just want to travel to more places even if even if it's within Australia I just want to travel a lot more and just explore the world like yeah um this year and next year I really want to focus on that and a lot of my money like my friends spend it on festivals and clubbing and this and that but honestly I'd rather put it away and just travel 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 so let me know in the comments down below if you're like me and you're a massive travel bug and want to travel because I love traveling. It's my favorite thing to do. Resolution number five is my fitness. Now, if you have me on my Instagram or Facebook or whatever, I post a lot about my fitness and like my, my weight loss and that type of stuff all on my Instagram. So if you want to keep up with that, you can definitely go check out my Instagram. I'll leave it in the description box down below if you want to check that out. But um, I last year, I... I had a lot of ups and downs with my fitness, weight loss type journey thing. Like I'm not super super unhappy but I'm definitely not happy with the way I look and I know a lot of people aren't, a lot of people are very tough on themselves but I want to work this year on feeling good about myself and just like working out a bit more, eating a bit better because I definitely do not have the best relationship with food. So in saying that, last year I actually lost 5.5% of my body fat and that to me was a big achievement, like just losing that much. Um, my personal trainer was very impressed with that and honestly it's a loss so I'm not complaining. I didn't eat the best, like I went through stages where I wouldn't eat the best and stuff but I worked out consistently and just felt very motivated. Um, I'm feeling very motivated again this year so that's one thing I want to work on is my fitness and like feeling good about myself, eating the right stuff, stop eating so much like junk and all the rest of it. Over the years I've definitely been teased for my weight and how I look and everything and it does definitely get to me but I've realized that it's not always the number on the scale but I just want to feel good um, about myself and like look in a mirror every day and be like oh you look good or just be happy about my progress and like proud of my achievements which I definitely was the end of 2018 when I lost those that 5% of body fat so that's definitely what I want to work on is not so much um, weighing less but having a lower body fat percentage and just being in a healthy weight range and like feeling good sleeping better all of that just everything like health kind of wise fixing up my skin a bit more because my skin definitely has not been the greatest the last couple of months um but yeah last but not least number six um would be my youtube channel so if you have been subscribed to me for a while which i don't think a lot of people have been but i actually made a few videos back in 2014 and 2015 probably made a few in 2016 and 2017 as well i've honestly just made videos here and there um since yeah 2014 so about five years but I've never stuck to it like I'll upload like twice in like a year <laughs> like I don't stick to it because a lot of the time I care too much about what people are gonna say what they're gonna think um, I've been teased about it before and people just think it's stupid like oh she's talking on camera she's uploading but I'm honestly not the only one that makes YouTube videos which I need to realize and 
if it's something that I like to do and it's something that I want to do, I want to pursue it more and um, yeah, just like share my life with people and honestly, I just want to meet new people. People always ask me why I want to do a YouTube channel and I think it's honestly because I want to meet new people and I feel like this is a really cool platform to do that and um, yeah, so I've decided I'm going to put in more effort in 2019 into my YouTube channel. I want to try and upload once a week. Hopefully I can do it. Um, I think the most consistent I've been was last year and I uploaded maybe like four to five videos in a month and a half. That was the best I've done. So hopefully um, we can go nearly the whole year with uploading once a week. I was, I'm still trying to figure out like what I want to kind of film on my channel. I'm not really sure what I want to do. I kind of just want to do a bit of everything like beauty, lifestyle, challenges, pranks, like just whatever I feel like filming so yeah I'm definitely going to be posting more on this channel so make sure you hit the big subscribe button down below so you don't miss any new videos so that is everything for my 2019 goals and like resolutions and I think I've made them pretty simple they're things that I definitely think um I can work towards and yeah hopefully this year will be a very good year I definitely want to work hard to make 2019 a good one and I hope you all have a great year as well remember if you like this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below if you haven't because I'm definitely going to be posting more videos this year and yeah I will see you in my next video